Wimbledon have decided for the first time, yes, the girls can wear whatever colour they want underneath their white skirts. And I spoke to Heather Watson, the British player, who's very outspoken about her periods, addressing this, this taboo subject in women's sport, which really it shouldn't be because it happens to all women, you know, half of the half of the planet go through this. So she's been talking about what it means to her that they've changed this rule and she is very relieved. When I heard this, I was really happy because I remember last year, I, um, again, like I said, I speak openly, some people might cringe at this, but I went <laughs> on the pill to stop myself bleeding because I knew we had to wear white undershorts and I didn't want to face any embarrassment with that. I didn't want to have to, you know, we're running around sweating, doing the splits on the court. So um, this year I knew my period was going to be during Wimbledon again. So I'm very happy that I won't have to do the same thing as last year. So very, very honest there from her and also very honest from the American player Coco Goff. Uh, she's just 19, but she's got a, a great head on her shoulders, the number seven seed, who shot to fame here at Wimbledon as a 16-year-old beating Venus Williams, her idol, uh, over there on court number one. She's grown up a lot since then. She has also been talking about this subject and also very happy about the rule change. I was on my period last year during Wimbledon and it was very stressful. I mean, you know, there's always... You know, you have the, you know, the period underwear and stuff to help you, but, you know, it's still in the back of your mind. And sometimes, like, I mean, I know you were, when you go to the bathroom, you're supposed to use the bathroom, but, you know, sometimes I would go to the bathroom just to check um, to make sure that nothing was showing. So I think it's going to relieve a lot of stress for me and other girls in the locker room for sure. <laughs>